and we're live welcome to the 31st sprint review uh very excited to show off all the craziness that has happened this week it's uh it's this sprint has been probably one of the most important sprints in common stack history because we launched our first commons uh along with that launch of the first commons we have our first augmented bonding curve live and uh, it's a uh, it's a really beautiful thing to see uh you can uh buy t you can uh you can buy TC with wrapped X die. Uh, and there's a great guide on how to do this on the forum and uh, videos. And, and we're going to even make it even easier to figure out how to get die from mainnet over to wrapped X die. So you can actually buy TC through the augmented bonding curve, but it's, it's here. Uh, the whole, the whole launch was a huge success. Uh, I'm going to dive into the launch story. Uh, but one thing I want to show uh, people get confused that there is a locked amount. So all of the hatchers, you have your TEC, but according to Goldilocks uh, and the parameters that were decided by the community, they're locked for six months. So until I believe it's June 25th, uh, it's either, no, maybe it's July 25th. I can't remember those months. I'll start with the same letter. So who knows? But I think it's July 25th makes sense. Uh, you, those tokens will start to become unlocked and then you can actually sell them. Uh, for now, you actually have to get a balance first. So just a quick little thing, and we'll make that more prominent in, uh, this is user testing. We'll make that more prominent in, uh, in a couple of days. So here's the launch story. Uh, during this sprint, we started with a vote in the HatchDAO, and this vote is the migration vote. So $1.5 million was sitting in this HatchDAO, and any hatcher who participated could exit that DAO at any time by rage quitting, saying, I don't want to be a part of this. This is part of the um, decentralized uh, uh, commons upgrade. So it's uh, it's really part of our community strategy to make sure everyone has buy-in to the parameters that were chosen by the community. And if anyone doesn't like it, they can leave. And that's uh, their choice and no no hard, uh, no hard problems. Uh, luckily, not a single person rage quit uh, for the last three months. No one, everyone was loving the process of collaborative economics. So this vote went through just fine. Uh, and uh, also while that vote, when that vote went through, before that vote was made, we also created the Commons Upgrade vote, which takes a one hive gardens, which has the conviction voting and DAO voting systems in place, and it upgrades it to uh, include the augmented bonding curve. And so this changes the issuance mechanism of a, of a, of a Veneto garden to uh, not use the dynamic issuance that OneHive has and instead use the augmented bonding curve, turning it into a commons, the first commons ever. Uh, so that was super cool. It's a very complicated uh, vote. Major props to Sam and Paulo and EVM CRISPR. Uh, and Nuggin for reviewing every, helping us review everything. Uh, probably one of the most complicated votes in DAO, in Aragon DAO history. Uh, so that was super cool. And then, but then we had this, we had this perfect plan. We're going to launch at 10 a.m., but Goldilocks had a uh, five and a half day voting period. So we didn't, uh, sorry, we're going to, we, we timed the launch to launch at 9 a.m. And we figured that it would take us an hour to set everything up to make the next vote at 10 p.m. 10 a.m. so that we'd be awake no problem by 10 p.m. you know everything would work out great uh for the actual launch time and we can make sure that you know while we're doing the launch everything is working and and then put it on twitter with confidence uh but things didn't go according to plan uh, we found out that there was a secret hatcher so in the migration vote all of the hatchers actually get TEC tokens. And we can't continue until all the TEC tokens are collected by all the hatchers. So we had we just went to Block Scout and got a list of all the hatchers. There are 271 addresses on Block Scout. And, and uh, we went through and clicked the claim button for every single one, right? Because uh, any address can claim for any other address. But then we were 5,000 tokens off. We were missing 5,000 tokens. What happened, right? And it turns out, there was a secret hatcher that Block Scout was hiding from us. It was not on, on the, uh, and so we were hunting this guy down for five hours. We eventually found him crying under a desk. It was 0x Joshua uh, hiding behind Block Scout, uh, not being a hatcher. Apparently he didn't want any of those test TEC hatch tokens crowding out his Block Scout. So I don't know what kind of deal he made with the Block Scout devs to hide from all those TEC test tokens, but 
uh, he, we eventually hunted him down. Uh, he had no chance against us. We found him through the Aragon interface uh, and uh, went his 5,000 tokens, but that made this launch happen at 3 a.m. Uh, our time. Uh, so that was exciting. Uh, we had to wake up early uh, and uh, launch this puppy, uh, but it was a very successful launch. I launched, Ivy was up with us uh, in the war room, uh, getting ready, helping to tweet everything. And uh, everything worked out really well. We tested everything. And uh, the only thing that we actually delayed the tweeting publicity was like a small, a small fix to improve the, the link and the like text and the picture that comes up when you put the link on Twitter. <laughs> I actually delayed us for like half an hour. Uh, that was the biggest issue that we had, which is great news for a launch. A uh, very smooth launch, really happy. And then right away, the magic started. Uh, quickly so uh, at launch we raised about 920k for uh for public goods in the te space that's how much of the hatchers funds were allocated into the common pool but that number was growing rapidly throughout the day and within 24 hours we reached we reached a uh, million dollars for public goods and in total so far we have uh, raised one uh, one million and nearly eighty thousand dollars for public goods, and we already spent fifty k uh, on one of the most important TE projects out there, the TE uh, Academy. They're creating a TE Fundamentals uh, Bachelor level program. It's super cool. Uh, they they they're uh, we're so proud to see them be the first TE project to get funding out of the Token Engineering Commons. And uh, if you want to know more about what they're building, they're having an AMA section session on Friday, February 4th at 4 p.m. UTC, whatever time zone that is for you. Uh, uh, there's a calendar invite and you can, you can check out their, uh, their full proposal on the TEC forum. And I'm really just such a proud day for the common stack to see the, you know, all of our years of hard work finally turn into something live, something on chain that is actually providing the value we wanted it to provide. And it's all working. There's a, the, there's already over 350 people with TEC tokens. So we, we've gained nearly a hundred new token holders participating and, uh, and we're, and it's growing massively. So very excited to see this, this action live. And it's been uh, probably a, a, a hallmark sprint. That's for sure. Uh, I'll pass it to Tam to keep the, keep the ball rolling. Man, I don't know what to do after that. It's, uh, yeah, so it's true. Uh, it's a very emotional week, maybe, and very intense week for all of us because this is the culmination of many years and very many months for most of us, years for some of us work. Uh, and it's finally live. And for most vantage points, it seems to have gone off incredibly smooth, actually. Uh, as Griff mentioned, people are actively buying TC tokens now. Um, and uh, so it's, it's not just hatchers anymore. So uh, Sprint 31, we're closing Sprint 31, which means right after this, uh, we all do our retrospective together. Um, and um, Ivy couldn't have chosen a more fitting name, Crossing the Goal Line, something that just doesn't happen without teamwork. And in a few minutes, she'll explain more behind the name itself. Uh, from Common Stack side, we um, have, whoops, I meant to share. That's better. Uh, we have a new article that um, Griff and I co-authored with lots of help from everyone at Common Stack and, um, and others in the community, uh, explaining collaborative economics, the design, uh, the underlying principles is um, the intention of this first article, and the future articles in this series will really talk about um, how the token engineering community used collaborative design in alliance with Common Stack and a number of other different partners uh, to launch a commons that will help them advance token engineering. Uh, and Griff just talked about the hatch story. Uh, so it's it's all of that and, and documenting some of uh, what's happened and the things that we've learned. Um, you know, the main thing is that the outcome is we have a community of people who really leveled up understanding how their economy works. Um, there are people, many people who've never even thought about it before, who were able to submit designs, uh, who made it to the runoffs, actually, like really well thought through, well contemplated designs for the augmented bonding curve and for conviction voting and for DAO voting. 
if uh, this isn't already on your radar, um, you probably won't go, but if it's on, hasn't been on your radar and you might go to East Denver, there's gonna be a number of us there. Uh, I just wanna say, reach out to us now. Uh, if you have kids, there's free childcare. <laughs> so there's no reason not to go. Uh, it would be very cool to meet a lot of people in our community. Okay, I also bring some news from the TEC. Uh, Griff talked about uh, the launch. There's this great uh, community call turned into a launch party that happened yesterday. And um, if you weren't able to attend, Gideon demoed how to buy TEC um, from XDI, so really step-by-step -step process. Zeptimus demoed how to submit a proposal and conviction voting. Um, so that those two were great. Angela uh, shared uh, her enthusiasm for being the first proposal to be funded, um, the, the TE fundamentals that Griff just mentioned. And um, uh, Libya presented some, um, some updates on rewards. So it's really a great community video that gives a lot of information. I would recommend people check it out. And then there is, um, if you are trusted seed, you probably are hatchers as well, and you probably have TEC tokens. Um, so what you can do with them right now is to uh, vote for supporting different proposals. Right now we have the Transparency Working Group Funding Proposal uh, and the Steering Working Group, more working groups, will uh, the Stewards Working Group, more working groups will be adding their proposals over the coming days. There are the Hatchbot NFT um, proposal um, that's slowly gaining some support as well. Um, so I'd say, and then, you know, come back and check back every, uh, you know, maybe in a few days and there'll be a lot more proposals to vote for. Uh, I just want to raise uh, the next Token Engineering Commons, Token Engineering Academy joint introduction to Token Engineering will happen on February 16th. Uh, so during ETH Denver as well. And um, if you haven't signed up for it or haven't taken that course already, it's very, really super interesting for anyone who wants a very high level overview of Token Engineering as a, as a discipline. To find out more about Token Engineering Commons, you could join the Discord or skim the forum. And that's all I have for today, and I'll pass to Livia. Thanks, Tam. Hi, everyone, and congratulations to the Trusted Seed Hatchers that just launched the TC. Uh, super exciting times. And um, I want to share a little bit about uh, this meeting that we had for the, for the last couple of weeks, Tam and I with Joseph Siu from the Secure Seco Initiative from Utrecht University. Uh, we had this uh, really insightful calls with him. He's developing this uh, DAO governance model. And so separating all of the, the um, what are all the components you need to have a DAO? And then he goes through each one of them as questions to understand more of our ecosystem and he has done a very successful one with Dorg, So we saw that and we were excited to collaborate also. And um, I think this will be a great tool for many DAOs that are starting and also for um, uh, de developing or uh, keeping track of your process. So if you have like check marks for all of those boxes and you can see your progress along the way and see how how are your um, governance module going, how does voting works, uh, how do people submit proposals, uh, what is your voting system in general, what are the role structures in your organization, what are the responsibilities of those roles, um, how do you develop incentives, how do DAO participants interact with those incentives, How's engagement? How's the token model? So it's been a very uh, in-depth uh, look at the TC that we've been having with him, and soon we'll have uh, more information about about this. This is the first draft we had uh, from the conversation with him, and we'll share more soon. And continuing on the governance and look out through the whole organization uh, perspective. Um, we, we finished developing um, a first set of metrics for understanding the ecosystem uh, health of the TEC. So if we move forward, uh, we had the cultural build, we, we're still having the cultural build. And um, we, we did uh, mostly everything based on Ostrom's principles. So how could we 
how can we know that in a year from now, we're still healthy in regards to Ostrom's principles? What types of metrics we have to have in place to check that progress? So this is gonna be a work mostly from uh, SoftGov and transparency working groups, but of course, with the help of the whole community. Um, so, so here there are all the examples of how each principle is being applied in TC and what are some metrics for success and how are we gonna look into them? So the next steps after this um, is gonna be setting up a roadmap and um, some type of um, process for how we're gonna evaluate this. And then we're gonna run this process through the community, see if everyone is agreeing with it. So it's very exciting. Uh, it was also very pleasing to see that we have examples for all the principles. So we have them all implemented in the TEC. And, and also the, the reward system, uh, the governance reward system, uh, research group is ongoing. We're entering our 19th, uh, 19th session. It's been a real pleasure to be there and uh, so many incredible projects coming from uh, New Year Foundation, from Ocean Protocol and, and the TEC that are our case studies. So here is just uh, the YouTube where you can see some of the sessions that were open and soon we're gonna have the final presentations of the part three that we're currently in and 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 then those will also be available here and uh today at 5 p.m utc i'll be sharing about the governance at the metagame community call so uh you're welcome to to join us and with that i'll pass to ivy thanks lydia um let me just share my screen okay um, so yeah, uh, first before I go into uh, updates from my side on, uh, on for this sprint, let me just uh, talk about quickly the uh, sprint name. So we I, we picked the uh, name Crossing the uh, Goal Line for this sprint because um, uh, let me just explain first what Crossing the Goal Line means. So um, it's like uh, finishing a project the same way as a football player crosses into the end zone to score a touchdown. So um, I think... Uh, Griff and Tam have talked a little about uh, the, the goals that we have scored this sprint, the big goals. And I'm sure the rest of the team uh, will also talk about the other goals um, that we, uh, we have uh, achieved for uh, this sprint. So on the comm side, um, this sprint, uh, we uh, helped in um, uh, uh, retweeting and uh, we helped with the uh, announcement of the TEC launch. So we retweeted a lot of um, con uh, a lot of tweets from um, TEC, the launch party, and the um, the awesome tweet thread that Lauren, Grape, and um, and uh, Chui ha have uh, put together to uh, to announce the uh, the TEC launch. And uh, so yeah, you can find all those tweets also in comments uh, Twitter page. Send and we also uh, sent uh, did a, an email blast. To uh to share the uh the TEC launch. So if you're not on uh Twitter, you can check your email and look for uh uh an email from the comment stack. So you can uh see everything about the uh the TEC token, how to get the TEC token, and how to participate in their uh governance. So praise to Maria and uh, Yanesi for uh uh for uh, writing the uh this uh newsletter. All right, and then um. Uh, for this sprint, uh, the research month campaign continues from Common Stack. So, if you're craving some research for, uh, if we're craving some research, so just head over to uh, our Twitter page. Uh, we shared a lot of um, content uh, pieces from uh, from our research partner organizations. Um, we shared articles from um, Curve Labs, uh, Prime DAO, and uh, some videos from Gitcoin and uh, Governance. All right. And then on TEC side, Griff and I have uh, finalized the um, terms and conditions for the uh, augmented uh, button curve. So uh, once you, uh, when you use the ABC, you have to sign these terms and conditions. So we have updated this with the uh, chosen parameters from the um, from the uh, from TEC. 
And uh, I have also uh, helped uh, Zeptimus with uh, setting up the uh, multisig for transparency working group. So um, moving forward, we can start um, uh, the contributors of the transparency working group can uh, start requesting funds from the TEC pool, so they'll get um, compensated for the uh, for their contributions. And um, also, we have uh, this uh, uh, algae and Ekin and I have been doing have started doing the uh, weekly peer sessions. Uh, we do it every five pm CET to plan the uh, content for a. Uh, every week for our for Twitter and um and email. So it gives me a lot of satisfaction to see that um our content calendar is being filled out with a lot of um uh, a lot of uh, pieces that we want to share with the uh, community. So um yeah that's all from me and I pass it to Christopher. Thank you. Let me share screen. Okay, it has been a quite an intensive week for uh, the reward system upgrade and a lot of work has been happening uh, in the trusted seed dashboard development as well. Uh, the big thing for the reward system upgrade this past week was we initiated the trial uh, quantification. So the trial quantification is the process where we try out the praise system before we start using it for real to work off the work away at the backlog of all unquantified praise. So we feel that the heat now that the EC <laughs> the commons is launched now we have also to deliver because that is uh, uh, high up on the agenda to you know, work our way through the backlog of, of unquantified praise so that we can do a, um, a token distribution based on, on that because that hasn't happened since last summer. So we initiated a trial quant uh, last week and everything went great until it didn't go so well. Uh, so over the weekend, the database got erased and uh, we lost all data. Uh, Laos is server set up uh, by me. Um, so we have to do it all over again, but that's fine. Uh, so we learned something from that. Mitch has done a great job of recruiting 30 quantifiers and, and getting them uh, pepped and... and ready to go uh, to do the quantifications. Uh, we have also during the last week uh, seen the, the launch of the, the new praise bot the, or the launch, it, it is running. So it's uh, running uh, on a, a test server where we can praise receiver in uh, praise people in a little bit more structured format than we could before. So now I'm praising myself just for, uh, for blah. And uh, let's see, successfully praised, yay. So the new praise bot is up and running on a test server. So it's, uh, we need to invite it to, to the real server. Uh, there's like a few weeks uh, left until we invite the new bot, but, but it's, it's running at least. Uh, what else? We are prepared, we, are, we start to prepare for the first the real quant because that is the, the main thing that happens after the trial quant is that we, yeah, we, we need to do it for real. Um, and in order to do that, we need to do some praise revision. All this praise data for the past eight months uh, is a little bit noisy. There's some, some, some errors in the data, so we need to clean it up uh, before we import it into the new praise system uh, and do the quantifications. And also the, the main goal for, for the praise system is to make it really stable, not, not add a bunch of new features now, but to make it more stable. And uh, it start to, starts to feel stable. This is how, how it looks, the, the quantification interface that the quantifiers will see when they try to put uh, values on the numbers on, uh, on the score, on the praise. Uh, so it's uh, starting to look good and feel really good. Uh, what else about the trusted, C the reward system upgrade? Maybe nothing. Um, so uh, next thing, uh, Trusted Seed Dashboard. Uh, Rodri is uh, working at uh, Fantastic Designs for the, uh, the landing page of the new Trusted Seed Dashboard. So this is uh, uh, the first, first look on how it uh, might, uh, uh, how, how it might look. Uh, I think it looks great. So I'm really excited to see, see more details uh, going forward here. And I also had a discussion with the, the de developers from Raid Guild, so they are getting ready to get, get started working on this. 
uh, on my part, I am doing more specifications for um, how, how stuff should work so that they have good uh, things to work uh, with. And yeah, I think that's that, that is maybe it for, for me for today. Uh, so I'll uh, thank you. I'll pass it to Max. Thanks so much. So, uh, yeah, this uh, week we got the number three out of four workshop on the objectives and key results methodology specifically for the uh, trusted seed community. So I can briefly show you the results of that. So we did all these few sessions, some of them were connected to identifying trends and the vision. And the vision for <clears throat> our community is that people who are in the space, like this is like a real space, like and you need a space suit, you know, in order to be safe, you know, and also transfer reputation. And another part of that vision is an attractive community of people who you really like. So that may set a, a tone for, you know, our operations, which kind of lay down into three fields. One is like, on the community, like I'm really expecting to um, um, like like next week on our planning to have this exit into direct sprint planning. So we already have a few ideas about you know, what we're gonna, like what processes we're gonna hold this month and uh, also match it with the personal goals of the team and all of it on the other directions of legally sound and reputation. So that was really cool. And uh, from the other updates, I had like few nice discussions with the team, especially with uh, Maria exploring her role and integration into this. And also like so interesting, like highlight about the like value of the accounting tool for for operating with all of this like complicating um, systems. Uh, we got nice conversation with Grief on org structure and ecosystem vision with STEM on vision for the common stack DAO, which is like a new thing that's coming, should be really cool. And uh, yeah, like one of the highest moment of the week was on our sprint plan when we discussed the theme of the year being the collaborative economy. Uh, so that like really inspired me a lot. Uh, thanks so much and passing to Maria. Thanks, Max. Uh, well, this past week, well, yeah, the past week, this is already up. <laughs> we had the project showcase at the Discord server, and it was the first edition for this year. And we will be having these uh, calls every month uh, by the end of the month, the, the last week. And the last one was, was with uh, Chris. Cypher from Droplist. This is a new project. I will be sharing my screen. This is an, a new project that is uh, basically drop airdrops for targeted uh, lists. And it's right now in a prototype and he's working on launching. And uh, at the call, we had a, a very good uh, questions from our community, especially from Griff, who, who gave uh, a so many good feedbacks to, to Chris. So uh, for the next one, I actually have already the the, the next uh, member already um, confirmed. And it's a, a very cool project. Uh, we will be announcing uh, very soon. And uh, it, it, the participation was great. Uh, we also had, wait, I cannot move my screen, okay. We also, we, we also had a, a very special invitation from Anne-Marie, one of our members, uh, to participate in block for, uh, Blockchain for Good Alliance exploration call. We basically gathered with a bunch of DAOs and organizations that are very, very cool. And I got to meet a lot of awesome people. And we worked together to, to see how we can all, all the DAOs uh, work together to, to have a uh, a good project or even uh, have individual alliances. So we, we work on a, on a mirror war and it was very fun. This one was the breakout room I participated on. Uh, we also, 
Oh my God. Uh -huh. Also, we had a very nice spreadsheet hack, as you can see. <laughs> no, but uh, actually, uh, we actually had a, a, a lot of uh, spreadsheet hacks and uh, after the all the, the, the messy ideas and working on a spreadsheet, uh, Gina had the, the great idea of, of going to Rollerblade uh, in Caracas. <laughs> and actually I didn't, I didn't know that this part of Caracas, so it was very fun to explore and, and tourist <laughs> at my own country. Uh, it was a very nice experience. Also, I didn't die. I, I came back home uh, safe. <laughs> so that was even better. But yeah, the hacking sessions for, for the spreadsheets are, are going excellent. And uh, I'm very proud of our, of our work. So with that, I'll pass it to... Oh, wait, I, I'm lost. Who is next one? <laughs> Because my laptop did something awful. But yeah, I can. <laughs> Thanks, Maria. Hi, guys. So it's been an amazing sprint. Uh, this sprint, we had a lot to do and a lot to decide on how we want things to go. So this sprint as well, we had, um, I'm trying to see if I could share my screen and it's not coming on. Okay, so this sprint, uh, let me see, just a moment, trying to share, oh, couldn't come on. So uh, uh, look out for this brain would define how uh, Twitter spaces and the process. So be on the lookout, you'll be getting uh, from February, a lot of events happening within our Twitter spaces. And um, as always, we're looking out that when these events occur or happen, that you would you know, come in, share your thoughts and, and enjoy the great conversations. We've started early to you know, walk around topics that could come on that disc and things you could uh, come around. So Twitter Spaces for uh, it's been defined. You have a defined process for it. And we're looking forward to having you know you join the Twitter spaces and talk about definitions and processes. We also Ivy talked about it, uh, content planning sessions and monthly themes. So we started with research month, which is January. We listed out organizations and partners that, that uh, projects that we can highlight and um, we schedule them between the weeks and strategically define how we intend to create and create the contents. For February, we are coming in with Commons Month and just like January, we've already started making a list of, of common the commons to be spotlighted. So there's going to be a whole lot of very integrated uh, contents coming from the common stack during uh, the February edition. So be on the lookout. This is like heads up. It's about to happen everywhere. And talking about that, our AMA is coming up in February 11th. So yay, ready and excited. And this AMA, we are tagging it, TEC, uh, AMA, TEC, uh, Commons Upgrade. So like I said, February is the Commons month. So there's going to be a whole lot happening and it will be exciting to um, come around and join the conversation. And you will not believe people who will be on the panel from Tam to YGG to Livia to Gideon to Angela. Like you cannot miss this conversation. So plan to be there this, um, in February 11th. And of course, we're going to, still going to put out announcements um, earlier. But this is like head stop is about to happen. And we also want to appreciate you for joining all the conversations who've happened uh, during the spring from Twitter to LinkedIn and to Medium. And the analytics uh, are not looking so good, but we keep hoping because it's the beginning of the month, um, the beginning of the year as well, everyone is just you know, still coming on. So we have 19 new followers on the LinkedIn as against our regular 25, but it's okay, we'll get there. And our post impressions dropped from 2000 to 1005. So we're hoping by February, uh, you will come back or get back on board and, you know, keep it up. And for our Twitter sessions, we are hoping to build so much bigger, larger community using our Twitter spaces and as well um, using the conversations we're already posting on Twitter. And we're also hoping, go visit our YouTube channels. Like our YouTube is so rich that you could get in and spend, if we plan to spend 10 minutes, you end up spending like 50 minutes. Like it's, it's that rich. 
So make our time to drop into the YouTube channel and see what we've been posting from the spotlight to the conversations we're having and showcase you cannot miss it. Above all, we wish to appreciate you for always staying by the common stack. So thank you so much for bringing your energy and helping us deliver on the project. I will now pass to Thiago. Thank you, Ekene. Um, hi, everyone. Um, happy to be here and to see you all. So excited uh, with the TC Com the T Commons upgrades. Um, so for this sprint, this sprint has been, uh, I haven't had so many things to do, but uh, we had a virtual retreat with the folks uh, from Regen Foundation and Regen Network, which was awesome. Um, so, and we did some digging in the, the land steward questions and uh, uh, matters, uh, what can be done, what they can do better, and stuff like that it was a very enriching um, situation, very enriching experience. Uh, and also I had a call with um, Jessica from Comstack, <laughs> now Block Science as well, and with Austin. Uh, so we set some expectations to know which one better and see what we are going to do next. Uh, so which, it was uh, a, a very good meeting uh, to know them both better. And uh, we all, oh, let me share my screen to see the, not this, not this, but the endowment. Wow. Sorry, here. The mirror board. Maria and I created for the partnership, the definition, and so many things we have created for start building uh, from scratch, uh, hopefully next week with Austin and some other folks from, from region. So, thank you so much and I will pass it to Ginezi. Hey. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm totally surprised by what Maria uh, shared with, uh, with you guys. <laughs> well, well, as Maria said, we are already working with our express sheet hacking, and it is still in progress. Uh, it is really an extensive and a detailed work that uh, actually bring us to the fact that we recently started our token minting process so you will be receiving in your emails the information of the increase of your C stack and uh, that is corresponding to November and December. So praise for the people who were there and uh, during the praise one thing <laughs> which was a little bit just a little bit longer <laughs> just praising the, the quantifying the, 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 the amount of praise. And that brings me to the next point. During this sprint, we uh, have received oh. 10 applications, three more activations, yay! <laughs> and we are currently 337 members. And the invitation, as usual, is, is if you already applied to the trusted seat, check your mailboxes and activate and claim your swag. And if not, you're still on time of being part of a great community that can participate in the launch of new DAOs, commons, as, for example, the PC, as key in, in, initialization tool. Um, to close, <laughs> you will, will soon receive the newsletter. Uh, it is full of good news related to the commons stack and our ecosystem and a form in which we hope you can participate to update your data and give us feedback and of course much more and with this i pass it to you Riff. 
Thank you so much, Inesi. And thank you all for listening. There's so, you know, we do this every week or every sprint that there's, so we get all the credit for everybody's work, but honestly, we're a huge community of, of contributors. So uh, get ready for the wrap. Uh, praise Pedro, Vitor, Fabio, Mitch, Nuggin, Lauren uh, for polishing all of the Prams working, uh, all the work that the Prams working di group did to get us to the Goldilocks parameters, especially emergency adjust Goldilocks parameters V2 work. Uh, Sam, uh, praise Sam, Paulo, uh, Nuggin, Vitor, and Bradley for helping out with the launch and a special praise to Sam, Paulo, and Nuggin for really putting in all the hours uh, and, and their incredible patience uh, to review everything during the launch, all the scripts is very complicated and they spent so much time uh, uh, figuring out how to deploy it for this for this commons and for future commons. Uh, special praise to Nuggin for documenting it all. Praise all the people who helped the Collaborative Economics article, Livia, Ivy, uh, or sorry, uh, you guys are all on the call. Gideon, Jack, Jeff, and Taxel, uh, you guys, uh, major support for that awesome article that got out. Uh, also, Algene uh, supported as well. Uh, praise Algene for supporting the organization of ETH Denver. Praise Zepp, Gideon, Angela, uh, and Angela for jumping in to present during the launch party. Praise Angela, Sam, and Zepp for being the first people, first groups to propose to uh, any comments, that, which is super cool. Uh, praise, uh, praise Yosef for uh, writing the TEC governance model, uh, which is a super cool organized view of our polycentric governance system. Uh, and of course, praise to the entire community for collaborating, uh, the TEC community for collaborating on a polycentric governance system that, that is so epic. Uh, praise all the SoftGov members for collaborating on OPIs, which uh, I'm calling them OPIs, Ostrom Performance Indicators. This is Durgadas, Wonka, Zeptimus, Benz, Nate, and Mitch. Uh, praise YGG, Angela, Patty, Heater, and Octopus, and Mike for the great governance reward system work. Uh, praise James Wa, Eugene, Renzo, Angela, Jess, Daniel Espina, and Jeff for the ongoing R&D into the governance ground control. Uh, praise Peth and Gary for awesome uh, for coordinating an awesome call with the Medicaid community. Can't wait to see it, Livia. Uh, and definitely praise Lauren and Chewy for doing such a bang up job on TC Twitter during the launch. It's always stressful to tweet during the launch, but they they really nailed it. Uh, praise Acid Laser for helping out with TC launch graphics. Praise Sean and Pablo for providing awesome legal support in all the TEC terms. We can't write these terms without a couple of lawyers offering free collaboration. Thank you so much, Sean and Paolo. Pablo. Uh, uh, praise Zeptimus for uh, setting up the Transparency Working Group multi-sig and praise Algene for her contributions in, C in the Common Stack Twitter uh, content planning and all the other things she does behind the scenes. Uh, praise to Mitch for recruiting to onboard more than 30 people who signed up on the trial quant. What an amazing output. Uh, great work, Mitch. Cat hurting. Praise ViviV for the rock star praise bot work. Praise Nebs and Grail for all the back end work that goes into making this praise, uh, praise quant system reality. Praise MS and Nuggin for their rad uh, revision of thousands of praise and all the work that they're doing on the rad dashboard. Uh, praise Rodri for the awesome design work on the Trusted Seed dashboard and Brandon One, Keating, and Dan 13 Ram from Raid Guild for diving into the dev work uh, for the Trusted Seed implementation. I'm super excited for the collaboration with Raid Guild. Uh, praise Chris Cypher for the awesome TS project showcase, sharing his epic project for Droplist, making airdrops super easy for everyone, uh, and it's showing it first to the Trusted Seed community. Super cool. Uh, praise Anna Marie for the invite to the Blockchain for Good Alliance call. Uh, praise praise uh, Pedro for keeping Manfred safe while roller skating. Uh, that's that's always important. Glad she's here still with us today. Uh, thank you, Pedro. Praise Gerlin for her Twitter thread on blockchain uh, learning journey and for jumping into our community calls and sharing some questions. Uh, praise YGG, Angela, and Gideon for agreeing to be on the panel uh, for our AMA on TE Commons uh, upgrade. So that's super cool. Praise Region Network, the entire Region Network for hosting a, a super cool digital retreat and inviting Tiago and Maffer. Uh, praise Austin and Jess for, from the Region team. Uh, and the rest of the region team, I mean, for coordinating around the region partnership. Praise Gregory for making an awesome tweet thread about our partnership with region. And praise Mer and praise Mercedes for quanting nearly 4,000 praises. Wow. 
Um, praise Jeff, Chris, and Dan for voting on issuing the next round of C Stack, pumping everyone's C Stack score. Can't do it without them. And uh, praise Dog, in, uh, which is uh, David on Twitter, for and Renzo D5 uh, for reaching our gardens, reaching out to our gardens with questions related to their trusted seed journey. Uh, love the feedback. Uh, and thank you, praise you for listening to our entire Sprint 31 review call. It was an epic one, one for the history books for sure. Uh, so th thank you all for coming and have uh, and checking us out. Uh, we'll see you in two weeks.